Ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, cause the chow here, Doncaster born, Bob built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be looking at a potentially exciting development at Silver Dollar City for the 2023 season. Now, this is just a rumor uh, for now, and this is all about 2023 and the potential exciting attraction that will be a replacement in the lineup rather than replacement in location for Fire in the Hole. So, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in more detail, talk about the uh, dark, dark coaster it's replacing in the lineup in the future in a bit more detail share my thoughts as well so before we get started guys please like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video also guys check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you in the comment section you behind the screen get to submit your own ideas for the channel and for now, guys, let's talk a little bit more about Silver Dollar City 2023. So Midwest Info Guy dropped a bombshell on Reddit stating that ground clearing is underway for an RMC indoor powered coaster that would open in 2023. This will be a major project report as it will be replacing, in quotations, though in a new location, a beloved current ride and that is of course fire in the hole now for those of you who are wondering well you sat there at home you're watching this video and you're wondering what is fire in the hole well i'll tell you it's a dark enclosed coaster that opened back in 1972 it's had a long electrical powered incline through several different scenes followed by a series of three drops with power sections in them while the power sections are typical of a powered roller coaster and or dark ride it is three drops that allow this to be considered a roller coaster now this is not replacing this a particular location this is going to be just replacing Placing the type of ride in the lineup, so it will be a dark coaster. Now, this is being located um, in a new build over by Fireman's Landing in the current Shad's parking lot, the current one beyond saving, unfortunately. Uh, now, obviously, uh, this is uh, in its own building, and, it will, and Fire in the Hole is expected to retire when the new attraction debuts, citing dis disrepair slash age. Now, nothing has been confirmed officially from the park until it happens. However, it's very interesting that uh, Midwest Info Guide have released this information live on Reddit. Now, I'd be very interested to see exactly uh, what happens with this development, but nevertheless, let's share my thoughts on this development. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is the rumor from Silver Dollar City, a ROC indoor powered coaster for 2023 in a brand new building on the old Shad's parking lot, uh, as the name, uh, which is the one near Fireman's Landing. That's the, the big piece of land that we saw around the back of Fireman's Landing. That's a very interesting plot of land right there. And we've heard that RMC, from, Mid well, from Midwest Info Guy, we've heard that RMC are developing a new style of train for an indoor power coaster. Now, like we said, it's not going to be replaced with the location of Fire in the Hole. However, when the new attraction is expected to open in 2023, um, it's expected to fill the void that will be left by Fire in the Hole as that attraction will retire in 2023 after, get this, oh, just over 50 years of service. And you know what? I think 2022, they'll announce on the 50th anniversary of the ride that it will close. I, I think that's... If this rumour is true, here is how I th see things going. Over the end of this year and the start of next year, they're going to construct the building or start to construct the building. Maybe bring the track and the train on site for to get inside the building. But what I think we'll see in 2022, sometime between summer and autumn and going into winter, is in the 50th anniversary of Fire in the Hole, we are going to see the ride announced to close uh, forever. And then by 2023, when Fire in the Hole is not what is not operating, they're going to debut this new coaster. Now, it should be interesting to see exactly the story or the theme or 
you know, what kind of name they're going to choose for this potential project. I think those questions are still yet to be on, uh, still yet to be answered. I think 2022 is the year we'll get those answers. So comment down below what you think about this because I'm loving this potential idea. I think this could be a wonderful idea for the park. Uh, but there we go, guys. Comment down below your thoughts. Do you think this, this is going to happen? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's false? Do you think it'll happen? Comment down below. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell, Kill on the Coast Life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a silver dollar or fantastic day. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape.